Hi, I'm Susan Jacob and I am the director and chief of the Dr. Agarwal's. I work at the Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital, Chennai, India. My interest and passion for research started uh, somewhere around my graduation where uh, you know I realized that uh, this is the place to be because uh, that's where cutting edge research is happening and uh, you know uh, you can actually change the way things are practiced and being able to uh, make a difference in the lives of patients in the way treatments are done and uh, and uh, i was fortunate enough to work first with the dr agarwal's uh, group where uh, research and innovation was always there and uh, it was always actively encouraged so keratoconus is a very very commonly uh, prevalent disease much more so than we think in the past there were not good enough uh, diagnostic instruments so the uh, prevalence of keratoconus was thought to be low but now with better diagnostics available uh, the prevalence is really found to be much higher than we thought it was the prevalence also varies depending on what kind of uh, diagnostics you are using but on the whole it does make it very clear that this is a very commonly uh, present disease and uh, the other thing is that this is a disease of the young so this is a disease that's going to affect patients who are uh, in their working in the prime of their lives who are working actively and who need good vision for uh, you know their lives but the beauty of this disease is that if you treat it right and if you treat it well it can be well controlled so that's that's the reason i was so interested in this disease uh, because you can really make a, a a lot of difference in the life of so many young people So CARES uh, is an acronym that I had coined and it stands for corneal allogenic intrastromal ring segments and uh, this is basically uh, used to or uh, used to define a procedure where uh, you would put a ring of uh, corn of allogenic tissue of any source and uh, this tissue is put into the mid periphery of the keratoconic patient's eye in a particular way or in a particular uh, you know form and that brings about shape change to the patient's eye so we know that keratoconus is a disease of a deformed shape of the cornea you generally have a conical protrusion and that leads to all kinds of uh, varying refractive powers over the uh, cornea and that leads to distorted visions higher order aberrations poor quality of vision and so on it uses the barakas uh, thickness law where which states that you know if you put in tissue in the mid periphery you can get a flattening of the center so that's exactly what we try to do here and uh, this was being done with synthetic segments synthetic icr such as intax and kera rings already but the problem with those was that uh, you cannot go beyond a certain thickness with them because these are not biocompatible it's basically plastic kept within the cornea and if you keep too much of it this can result in complication which we were also seeing as clinicians uh, such as extrusions intrusions melts uh, migrations even and so on and uh, that led me to think that you know it would be a wonderful thing to be able to do a similar technique but use a different kind of uh, material by using a uniform thickness of cares to transition to customized cares uh, customized cares uh, which is basically uh, you know you uh, kind of customize this you you're basically tailoring it to each individual patient every patient has unique characteristics every variation is different and makes each patient a unique patient when you do customized cares you're actually tailoring that segment for each individual patient based on the topographic map the refractive error the thickness and so on we kind of find or honed our technique to a way where we are able to translate it very beautifully to the patient Oh, it's it's uh, one thing to just do a technique which you are doing, but it takes the game to a completely different level when you find your colleagues are also doing it. And the other thing is that we now have patients who come in asking for the treatment. The young patient population who are actively searching out uh, treatments which could benefit them. So, uh, so I think the future is basically being able to uh, customize this more and more, as we already spoke about customization, and also of course uh, being able to get it into. places where uh, it's still not widely available treatment so there's there's a lot of future potential uh, for this for this technique and uh, i think uh, this is uh, really uh, just the beginning of the iceberg